My name is Roman Shaposhnik. Um, I work for the company called Pivotal uh, as director of open source strategy. I think the conference was extremely well run. It was really nice to see so many practitioners, you know, come together to share the use cases and just, you know, swap stories and practices. Uh, it's really needed, you know, because right now we're sort of in this, you know, peak uh, time of confusion around, you know, big data and how to build applications, you know, leveraging big data. Uh, so it's great to see so many people sort of coming together to try to solve some of those problems. Uh, to me, the most interesting trend is basically this uh, merge between sort of data and, you know, data management, you know, we call some of those, you know, sort of function data engineering and essentially application development. So that's actually what Pivotal is in business of doing, enabling next generation, you know, smart data driven applications and how we can basically make sure that three constituency, which is, you know, developers of the applications, data scientists, and people who make sure that nothing ever goes down, you can call them DevOps, I typically call them sysadmins, how, we can, how can we make sure that those three constituency can be super efficient in essentially delighting the customer of, you know, whatever it is that the enterprise is building is the biggest question of all. And to me, it is exciting to see again, you know, different approaches of solving that question. So I actually was on a panel. So we had a panel on sort of future of the data pipelines. And it was a great panel. I think, you know, there was tons of insight. Uh, one thing that kind of struck me as interesting and not just at the panel, but basically throughout the conference, is that we are essentially avoiding a huge elephant in the room. And I don't mean Hadoop. I actually mean Apache Hadoop. Nobody really calls the projects that everybody is using what they need to be called. They pretty much all of them, you know, with a few good exceptions, are Apache Software Foundation projects. And we should not really forget about that. So to me, sort of realizing how many people don't really even know that Spark is not a Databricks project, product. Spark is an Apache Spark, which is a collaborative community managed out of Apache Software Foundation. Just to see how many people don't even realize that, you know, that gap that exists was, you know, probably the biggest takeaway that I'm like, huh, I guess I need to talk about it. So I'm talking about it. In a way, in a way, and you know, our industry, software industry is probably the worst in, you know, forgetting our own history in a very, very short, you know, period of time. And, you know, I'm an old guy, reasonably old guy. Uh, so to me, you know, some of the things that we're seeing today and, you know, feeling like it's happening for us, you know, to us for the first time, like those were exactly the things happening around the database industry. Not a lot of people realize that there used to be a time when object database versus, you know, relational database wasn't really a settled question. There were tons of object databases coming, you know, from the small talk community, you know, Gemstone, a uh, good example of that. And that was really a pretty heated debate. So yeah, we're, you know, pretty bad at sort of remembering our own history. That's part of it. Uh, but another part of it is, you know, we are sort of looking for the magic solution all the time, sort of for the silver bullet, right? You know, without realizing that all of the software is only as good as the community developing it. And to me, sort of, that is the biggest takeaway of all, right? You know, if you really want community, that's what Apache Software Foundation is all about. Uh, in a way, the technology will come if the community is good enough. But if you, your community is bad, even if you entrust it with the most you know, awesome piece of technology, it'll be trot like there is no tomorrow.